In the UK, the bodybuilding community back in the 80s was very, very small, so you get to hear whisperings. But then this one day in particular, I kept hearing the same story. Who's this big mother who's training down at the Weeder Gym in Birmingham? It was like just a caveman. He created the heavy duty image of a bodybuilder. He set a standard. I mean, he pushed the bodies to the next level, focused on one goal to win. It was all building up to one all-out set. Everything would be given all out. Bang. I got in trouble and I was in a gang and I think I was 19 years old. He became a skinhead, had the tattoos. He got arrested and started training with the weights. It was two weeks out from the Olympia. I remember I heard this massive tear and it was his tricep coming off. It was so bad, he said, there's no way I can get through this one. Next morning, he changed his mind. He was going to do everything to get in that Olympia. And the minute he got off stage, he collapsed. Partying? Wow. Take that discipline and that insanity for bodybuilding and put it into partying. He went off the deep edge, in my opinion. You know, drug use and multiple girlfriends, and I accidentally overdosed. You know, I was dying, man. It seems like you are slightly bitter about the bodybuilding industry today. Whose take is that? I'm not bitter about it at all. Mr. Vlad. <laughs>